side I always try to stay in line But your eyes see right through What's up, Jaywalkers? We're back with another reaction. We're going to be watching Season 3, Episode 20 of Glee. Last episode, we had prom go down, um, and Brittany killed it with the dinosaur theme. It was a good episode. Rachel and Finn as our king and queen. Um, I did love the moment. It was a really good and special one. Uh, but the moment I loved even more than that is what Puck did for Becky, making her the crown, making her the queen. Um, and just with how down she was about the whole situation, not getting the nomination, all that, for Puck to do that was incredible and one of my favorite things. About the last episode, we also loved Belaine's beautiful, natural hair. Without the product just shining, he looks incredible. We love Belaine no matter how he looks, no matter what he's doing, no matter why he's doing it. We love Belaine, period. Um, and we love his hair, but we enjoyed that as well. We enjoyed all the songs. We had some absolute bops all throughout. Uh, Big Girls Don't Cry, What Makes You Beautiful, Love You Like a Love Song, bops. Um, but yeah, we're down to the final three episodes of season three. We'll see how they go. Uh, full reactions will be over on my Patreon page. Link to that will be in the description box of every video over here on YouTube. If you want to check them out, feel free to hit the link and do so. That being said, we're jumping into it. Let's go. Sleep. Wheezy, you created a monster. Jesse St. James, a visionary and lauding vocal adrenaline. But Jesse St. James was against you and performing as his true magical self. Yeah, no, we were the ones who convinced him to do that. Well, then you only have yourselves to blame. And the liberal media. Not really. Because now a show choir celebrity. He, she will trounce us at nationals, and I will lose my Cheerios to Coach Ross Washington. I will not let that happen. I'm to fight fire with the flaming flames of additional flamey gay fire. You will wear this flapper dress and perform at nationals as Porcelina. You already have no the lady way. gay. Okay, just because I'm gay does not mean I like to dress up like a woman. Oh, come on. What about Halloween, Kurt? Trick or treat. Bada bing. Let's do to get a candy situation up in here, huh? Okay, that was a Halloween Blaine costume. Killed and it is loose. Hate to say it, kiddo. But if we want to beat vocal adrenaline at nationals, it's tucking time. Look into your eyes. It's like watching the night beautiful sunrise. Perfect song, so you Rachel. That you've come so far. Even the stars stay burned. So I got a lot to learn. God knows we won't give up. I'm here to stay and make the difference that I can make. Lovely start. I just start singing right into the freaking message after the tone. Holy smell. Hi, Madam Thibodeau. This is Rachel Berry calling. This I is understand Rachel Berry. 14 messages is a lot. God knows when. Judges give out an award for an MVP, and I would really love it if you could be there to watch me win. If anything, just to show you that what happened at my audition was a fluke, and that I fluke. do have to take the trivers a lot, but I'm just, I'm really not ready to give up on my dream, so. Any trip to hear you, you sing? Very much. Well, motherfucking worth it. When we sing, of course. Most powerful ballads inspired by Wuthering Heights. And we'll be working in a new Trouble Tones number, utilizing the talents of our Thank future God. performer, poor Selena Hummel. Not gonna happen, told he she. We will be performing What a Feeling from Space Helmets. Well, these helmets. 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 Leg warmers? Best way to get props is to use props. Props and our plucky transsexual porcelina, and you are over the top. Aren't props a little cheesy? Top ten last year. We've got one last week to come together Still and ridiculous. shake things up. 
There's anyone here who's not up for, for trying... Whoa, whoa, Tina. Tina. Where, where are you going? You guys don't need me. Carry on. Tina, you don't understand. I need this. Because you need blue Tina. and the rest of us would like one, too. I wouldn't mind another one before I get the bird. I want one, even though I can't sing. Tina. The only thing you'll be doing is a dance break with Brittany. Other people matter. Tina, you may not always get all the <clears> solos, <throat> but you are a key player. I put you in charge of costumes. Wow. Down Asia, number one. My name is Tina. Tina Cohen Chang. Remember it. It's a name we all need to freaking remember and appreciate. Junior, junior, you'll get your chance next year. This is the senior's moment to shine. What I'm really disappointed in you. No idea why you choose this moment specifically to make us think about it, but I want you to know that you are being heard, which is why I'm willing to offer you $50 to select this all go until after nationals. Idea how important nationals is to me? I mean, if I can convince Carmen to go you? to one audition, which means that my entire future depends on us being amazing, which means that everyone needs to do their part. Their part to make She is not happy. Yeah, I see something. Most of the time I don't. Team player all the way. I am tired of being silent. I want to be original. Go, Tina. Take my turn. Do you have any idea how difficult it is to be me? Do, do you have a, a Facebook a account word. or Twitter account? Yes. Do you have boyfriend interested and physically satisfied in being the captain of 16 clubs and keeping a 3.86 GPA? I could do all of that. And you will. Next year. All I want is for one moment to feel like you. Be up on that stage mm. and get you one of the standing ovations you're so used to getting. I can understand that. Heard that. I mean, I'm behind you 100%. Being gay doesn't mean you're a cross-dresser. Hey, Tina, what are you doing here? Fulfilling my duties as costume coordinator and text fighting with Mike, who says my outburst in Glee Club was unreasonable. Oh, I can do everything with Joe Barry can. Oh, that's so... Oh. Oh, my God, Tina. Oh, God, Tina. Look at me. Oh, my God, this is like days of our lives. Can you hear me? What the fuck? Uh, Rachel, it's me. Just call me Rachel. I don't think you may have hit your head. Puck Blaine is a nightmare. Oh my god. I'm Rachel Berry. No, you are concussed and you're in the version of your life. This is crazy. If you want to run into your old pal Chandler, far be it for me to stand in next message. Oh, hey there, Hobbit. Can't wait to hear a solo on Glee Club today. Well, kid in the entire world. Mercedes? Praise. Rachel, after your solo, I have to build more Tubbington out of jail. He tried to sell my iPhone for drugs for really? the long shot, but I was wondering like if Tina, you Rachel. could give me some pointer. Rachel Tina. You can hawk your chops. Yeah, Sue will. God damn it. Solo for I've seen it all. Reeses William, as I am 1 16th Native American. My Comanche name is Two Leads with Wolves. And I've heard of okay. shoulders, Rachel Berry. Blame Rachel, why don't you come up and show us what you got? Oh, Mr. Shit. Can I have a couple days? Just when you're under pressure. Now turn around and show us how you're going to win us nationals. And afterwards, we're gonna make out because your boobs look slightly bigger today for some reason. Okay. Come on, Tina. For all those times you stood by me, for all the, all the wrong that you made right, for every drift thankful, baby, you're the one who had me fall. You're the one who saw when I was weak. You were my voice when I could. Okay. For this, I got Thing Blaine. He's Mohawk. My main thing from all of this. Oh! Tina. Tina asks for a solo. She just, we should get on our knees. Thank her. The vocals were amazing. Everything about that was amazing. Just because you're a little more in the background this year, don't doubt your talent, Tina. Next year is all you. It's finally your chance to shine. I believe when I heard that your new audition didn't go well. You're always so amazing. I wish Madame Thibodeau agreed with you, so change your mind. I've tried. She can't believe how supportive you are when half the time I can't even be bothered to thank you for your tremendous supporting performances. It's not completely selfless. You're our secret weapon, Rachel Berry. You okay? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Are you okay? Now let's sing again. A five, six, seven, eight. Let's have Tina sing the rest of the episode. It's hers. Damn it. Damn it. 
He earned it. Mitigated disaster. Jennifer Beals is spinning in her grave. Gentlemen, I asked for a cascade of sparks. I can't see through this helmet. I took mine off. Little sparks in your face is how you get freckles. This is even legal. Yeah, shouldn't we're supposed to add to the routine, not be the routine? Well, maybe you're right, William. Maybe basic sheet metal work is just too much for your 12th place choir. Of course. Yeah, Mercedes is black, so kicking us out would be a hate crime. Yeah, I'm not totally gay, but I think that trees are born the same way as babies, so kicking me out would be kind of mean. Yeah. Thanks. I'm eating my chicken, ladies. Well, I'm showing a 21 Jump Street with Kuda. Kuda was in 21 Jump Street? I didn't know he was an actor. You told us you were leaving him. You lied to he us. He is an actor. He pretended to be a good motherfucking person. It's a world worth if people don't get a second chance. Wait, so you're saying he changed? Well, he knows now that if he treats me bad again, I am out. Stop it! You're selfish for making me feel this mm. way. You're like this. You know you push my buttons. You know that. These guys I know don't even know how to change their own underwear. I couldn't really figure that out, so I just stopped wearing any at all. I think you need to get out of the house. If only for a weekend. Come with us to National. I know if I'm welcome back in Chicago after I body slam Refrigerator Perry in a bar fight. Well, we care about you, Coach. We just yes. want to see you safe. Yesterday, I snuck into a vocal drill and rehearsal, and what I saw is not the faint of heart. White. Why is this in black and white? Because I worship the artist. Look at that. He's in perfect sync. Not a step out of place. Okay, watch this closely, guys. It's called the Human Centipede. It's the newest, hardest show choir dance move. A unique factor that gives vocal adrenaline its edge. Isn't Rachel our unique factor? Not even close. Show choir in the country has a little girl with a big nose. Okay, Sue. So. High school judges are proven idiots. They love props. Yeah, and unique that's... is the ultimate prop. It's drag to win? This. No. It's the only way. It's the only way. Pretty good to me. The only way. Right there is. That's the only way we need is Tina. Nothing again. The only way I need. Have you heard back from Carmen Thibodeau yet? I just have to accept the fact that I'm not going to. Ricky fried it. I was you and you were me. And Kurt was Finn and he wanted to have sex with me as you. That's very disturbing. Yeah, you should have seen Puck Blaine. Did some research. Carmen Thibodeau is teaching a master class at Oberlin. If we go right now, we can still catch her. We. Hey, Jeff. We. He would do that to me. Stuff he said. I mean, you weren't wrong. Look, I know everyone is important, and I'm very sorry if I made you feel like a superhero. Everyone has their part to play, right? Maybe this is mine. Mm -mm. Thank you. What are you playing for? You do know that next year you're going to be the lead female vocalist, and that's a lot of pressure, but. I'm not worried. We're gonna have to up our prop game. I've ordered 18 little people, one for each of you. Wait, little people? Munchkins, I found them online, William. Don't worry, I'm a little too far with the props. Let's just spend some time working on choreography for dashboard. Sure, if you wanna lose. Puck? Ugliest woman I've ever seen. For a second there, I thought you were Beast's sister. It's not about being pretty. It's about someone in here having the balls to do what he has to do to put us over the top. The useless shell of a man you see before you used to be the Noah Puckerman. The guy they named the dumpster out by the smoking lounge after because he dumped more dweebs in it than any ten dudes combined. Right, because there's three of you and one of me, so you're going to need about two more guys to make it a fair fight. Damn. A freaking loser. <laughs> oh, I'm a loser. Did I tell you I got into Ohio State? Yeah, I'm going to play hockey there. What's, uh, you're playing after graduating. You are graduating. Face it, Buck. You're the guy we all used to make fun of when we were freshmen. The one used to hang out in front of 7-Eleven picking up on high school girls after grad. I'm a loser. Oh, shit. Get off your head. You want to fight? Fine. But not here. I'll buy your dumpster. I hit him right where it hurt. Jesus. To win nationals. You know, our first regionals and last year I had this feeling we were just going to win. But this year, nothing. We just really, really, really want to win now. Not for us, but for Mr. Shu. Boys make it so hard, but you were born under a blessed gold star. Everyone knows it. I don't know if I think that way anymore. They didn't. And now they, they have jobs that they hate and they live a life that they don't even recognize and I beg you that they don't even bother to dream anymore. It's not everyone. Okay, I'm not going there yet. Carmen is going to say yes. Where is the Rachel Berry we all know and love as we're getting this together? Thank you. Uh, same. Can you do me one favor? Before you graduate, can we sing together? If I change your clothes because you're going dumpster diving. But hey, maybe while you're in there, you'll find your garbage father. How's he doing, by the way? You know, I tried his microbrew. It sucked. 
Can I have anybody come stop this? Nobody? Come in there yourself. Ooh. Puckerman is over. Your winner and still a loser. How did you grab him on that? He knows. You want some more there, Nancy? He keeps getting up. Oh! Rubber, it's just a prop from West Side Story. What the hell are you thinking? You could get expelled for this. Care? Well, you damn well should care. I'm nothing. Don't you get it? I'm nothing. I'm the school joke. A failure. I like to be worthless. But nothing you do matters. Come on now. I feel that way every day of my life. Every damn day. Oh. My dad's been AWOL since I was 10 years old, which is fine because all he ever did was tell me I was garbage. And he must be really proud of himself, because that's exactly how I turned out. Yeah. I'm sorry. Come here. It's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You and me, we're badasses. Nobody thinks anything hurts us, but it does. That one got me. That one got me. He has some always true. Control is better, but the phrasing is still emotionally flaccid. Emotionally flaccid. Thank you, Madam Tibidal. I realize that I've been a little persistent, but I'm just... I... We're ready to sing this time. I'm a very busy woman. Well, Every moment no one's I busy spend enough deleting yet another one of voice. your voice... I'm oh, sorry, I don't mean to, to take time away from anything. But you do. And I'm tired of it. Miss Tibidal, I know exactly how you feel. Rachel Berry is a pain in the ass. Tina's the best person the fact ever. Is she gets it because she's exceptional. Not just the voice, which is sick, but the focus, the drive. How often do you come across the real off day and that decides her entire future? Miss Thibodeau, I realize that I'm asking you to take me into special consideration, but let me ask you, you've had an amazing career. Did you get there by playing it safe? Before you close the door, I just, I need you to hear me sing. I, I have to. There's nothing that I'm as good at or as passionate about or that brings me that much joy. I'm for you and your friend to go. Okay, We're in okay, but I just want you to know that I'll see you again next year and every year after that until thank you. She loves that passion. Hey baby. That was a couple of pies. Check them out. Gwen, your favorite. Everyone's on my ass and done. If I'm being totally honest, I'm always feeling like I'm disappointing you. I can't lose my cool anymore, and I won't. I promise. Talk to someone who fucking cares. Well, come on, baby, sit down. Which is Are not many that, people, uh, Cooter. You got my word. Stab me. No, with that one. It's fake. Maybe the big one in the kitchen. The one I've been sleeping with at night under my pillow. We let it get so out of hand. I'm out. I got shame about what happened between us, but I leave that here with my ring and with you. I hate me any more than I already hate myself. I don't hate you. That's the awful part of it. I love you. But what does that say about what I think of me? <laughs> what are you gonna do? Am I just walk out on me? Who's gonna love you the way I loved you, Shannon? Who's gonna love you now? Bastard. Me. And that's enough. Boom! <laughs> And weapons that you use against me. Taylor Swift. I'm so happy. Off my feet. I like nails on a chalkboard, calling me out when I'm wounded. You never thought I'd hear B singing a little but bit of Taylor Swift. My life is complete. In a big old city, and all you're ever gonna be, I'll be big enough so you can hear. This is making me so I can't explain. It's making me so goddamn happy. Why you gotta be so gotta be so mean? 
So why are you in here singing all by your lonesome, Mary? She's gonna let you have another go at that test. Why, she hates me. Hates your attitude. But I told her how you wiggled into a skirt for the good of your team. Mary, there's a lady lover when she didn't climb aboard the puck wagon. No. When you did that, you showed that you cared about something. Take the exam next week, and I'm gonna help you through it. Fucking ace it! Help me like that. Because Noah, you will never know how much you've helped me Not alone. We are getting some incredible moments. Probably practicing her songs right now, over and over again until her vocal cords bleed. And none of us would be going to Chicago if not for her commitment to Glee Club. So show some respect. While we're acting like shooting the work. Be a good team player and you'll get your solos. And maybe next year it'll be as a part of a group that won nationals. Could be sewing it. Because the truth is, it takes a lot of crystals to make something shine. Can make room. I booked an executive maternity suite sharing. It wouldn't be fair to the baby. You can bunk with me and Emma. So you packed a bag on the off chance you'd be coming to Chicago? Mm. Welcome aboard, Shannon. It's the hug from Sue. It's beautiful. Well, Tina, I would miss She's always in the trenches picking up blitzers to the quarterback near the drive. Sorry, you lost me at offensive lineman. <laughs> but I'm sure whatever you said was really nice. And the stage you complete. You really are a unique factor. That's Christopher Walken. You know, I did hundreds and hundreds <laughs> of movies. Yeah. We all are. I mean, in a sea full of kids who are just desperately clinging to their own kind, we're different. Accept one another. That's our unique factor. And that's what I love about us. Yeah, me too. Come on! Let's get that to it. Amazing to see and hear. Oh, I'm ready, guys. Season three, episode twenty of Glee. We are all the unique factor. We're ready for nationals, and like Tina said. It takes a lot of crystals to make something shine. And all these crystals have never been more ready. Uh, but this is honestly one of my favorite episodes of Glee. Big Tina episode, which we're happy about. Um, as we see at the beginning, she's upset about not getting any solos or the respect she deserves. Honestly, I feel you, Tina. But um, then we had her trip and fall, and everyone got switched around, which was crazy to see. Puck and Finn as Kurt and Blaine. Freaking Artie Santana. Will Sue. It was all a little bit nightmarish. But uh, the thing that was heavenly in the middle of all of it was Tina, Rachel's performance. Um, Tina's vocals shined. It was show-stopping. Um, and we just absolutely loved it. But we also enjoyed all the bonding with Tina and Rachel this episode. Um, Tina going with her to see Whoopi after telling her about the freaking Freaky Friday shit that went on in her head. Um, asking if they could sing a duet together on the road trip. Uh, the freaking duet we ended up getting was perfect. I uh, loved them running around having fun. Uh, it looked great. It sounded great. And once again, Nationals ready. Who wants it? Um, and with all that being said, we're going to give Tina our MVP for this one. Um, big episode for Beast as well. Beast could have easily been MVP. The acting we got from her was so amazing. But seriously, one of my favorite Glee scenes so far is the one with freaking Puck and Beast after Puck pulled the knife on Rick the Stick during that fight. But just everything Puck was saying about you know, how he's flunking already and just how crap his parents are. Um, his acting, for all of that was so heartbreaking. Um, but just the way Beast hugged him, 
said they were they were badasses. Um, and even though people like think stuff doesn't hurt them, it damn sure does. Um, and nothing hurt me like that scene. Um, but incredible. Um, which led to the wonderful performance of Mean. Uh, that song fit both of their situations pretty well. I mean, I'm just glad we finally got a Taylor Swift song on here. Um, and then freaking after that lovely performance, we had Beast Hell Puck. She got him another chance at taking the test. Um, told him he's loved. And that he'd never know how much he helped her. Um, just everything with Puck and Beast. Top notch. And we're extremely proud of Beast for leaving Cooter. What a freaking heart shattering scene that was. Um, but that was another one where the acting stood out from Beast. Um, yeah, just wow. Wow was all I can say about it. Um, some of the acting we got there, but once again, great episode of Glee, one of my favorites so far. Um, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this one. I can't wait to see what's in store for Nationals. Thank you guys for watching.